Veronica, I have a horde of infected here. Shit. I hoped it would be empty by now. Well, it isn't. I don't know if I can get through. Use the UV flashlight on your belt. That should keep them at bay. Just don't stop, Aiden. Veronica, I made it. The electricity's on. Great. The security tunnel is open. I'll try to take the elevator down to you. This place was quite the hive. Plenty of infected. But I got rid of them. They were people too, Aiden. They deserve respect. Aiden? What? What's going on? The elevator! It stopped! I see. I think it blew a fuse. I'm checking. Don't worry, I'll fix it. Please, don't leave me here. Don't be afraid. I just need a moment. Don't leave me. Don't leave me. on my hands here, Veronica. Try to breathe. Slowly. Uh, oh. Don't leave me! Just don't leave me here! Shouting won't do anything except attract infected. Yeah, calm down. I won't leave you. Veronica, I'll meet you by the elevators. Are you all right? 
See? Told you everything would work out. Just get in. You've always been claustrophobic? Seriously? For over ten years. So what happened then? Aiden, for God's sake! Can we not talk about this right now? Uh, the database. Where is it? Just give me a moment. Below us. Even farther than this? Another six floors down. This is a pretty high tech. Before the GRE, this complex was run by the military. They used it to monitor threats, rocket attacks, that sort of thing. That's why they called it the observatory. Then the virus came and that was the end. So what happened here in the end? Well, the GRE lost control of the situation, and it all went to hell. Everything collapsed. From what I know, the scientists at first barricaded themselves inside. But soon, conditions in here were as bad as they were in the city. So some of them quietly slipped out. And those who stayed are the ones you got rid of earlier. So the military ran this place before the GRE? Yes. It used to be a Cold War command bunker. Cold War? A period in the last century. Wars back then were fought on a grander scale. It wasn't just about day-to-day -day matters like having enough water, UV lamps, and food scraps. In a way, though, it was just like things are now. People lived every day in constant fear. That's quite the story. They used to call places like this Witnesses to history. Great. Dark again. Wait. I'll try and figure something out. If we have electricity here, we could use it to power up the whole floor. We need to open these doors somehow. Maybe from the other side. It's a tight fit in here. Just plug this cable in. It might work. <sighs> Veronica, how you holding up? Just want to get to that database and get out of here. You're doing great. Just talk to me. Why are you really helping me? You're taking quite a risk. Frank told me it was important to you. And that's it? You probably don't know much about Frank and the Night Runners. We owe him, well, everything.
Smart move. Rerouting the circuit. Yeah. Saved my life a few times. Veronica? Should we get going? Yes. Let's get this over with and then get out of here. This way. The main computer is there. You'll finally know what happened here. She's all I have. What about your parents? I don't remember them. Just her. We... <laughs> we were a good team. Without her, it's like, uh... God, I don't know. You don't know what? Well... I don't really know who I am. We're all different people than we were 15 years ago. We all got... lost. It's here. It's locked again. What now? The terminal is inactive. The security system isolated this area. Uh, I guess I'm up. I've got an idea. Try to find the officer's room. There's a security desk. We could try to operate the door locks from there. You should be able to use your GRE key on it. You sure know a lot about this building. Please, just insert the key and select emergency unlock on the screen. I'll explain everything to you when we're done. Another problem. I'm stuck here. I need to find a way out. Can I help you somehow? I don't think so. Just stay where you are. Ryan, Director, Field Laboratories Department? A mid-level GRE doctor, my ass. Seems to be Veronica's office. You weren't honest with me, Veronica. Who's that boy? Maybe her son? Aiden. A funny thing. Seems there was another Veronica Ryan. Director. Field Labs Department. I was going to tell you. Why are you helping me? Are you working with Waltz? Waltz? No, never. Even back then, I didn't. Waltz had his own research team. But you knew about the experiments, how they used kids. <laughs> me and my sister. That's why I'm here, Aiden. I... I cannot forget what we did here. That we let you down. All those kids in pain and no cure to show for it. Sure. We were five, for fuck's sake. Small children showed natural immunity to the virus. We saw a correlation between age, brain development, and infection severity. That's why they were experimenting on you. The GRE, the world, needed you. You seemed our only hope. I'm sorry. 
Was it worth it? I mean, did you even come close to a cure? We were close. But the virus... It finally reached the complex. So, were you involved in those experiments? No. The tests on children were all performed at a laboratory. Here we were gathering data and compiling research. I was here when it all happened. Team members began to turn, and things quickly spiraled out of control, one by one. We were locked inside, hiding, sneaking around through those dark corridors and ventilation shafts. My son, he was here with me. Paul, he was five back then too. What happened to him? I managed to find the shaft leading to the main entrance. I told Paul to wait for me. I kissed him and I told him to wait until I made sure the entrance was safe. He clung to me, didn't want to let me go. When I came back for him, he was gone. I was only away for 15 minutes. I spent the next week looking for him. And then the rest of my life crying. I should have known. He was a kid, scared, alone. I'm sorry. You were trying to take him out of here. How could you know? Anyway, we all have our own stories of the past. Let's concentrate on what happens next. Okay, let's go. you find what you've been looking for. All the GRE's data is in there, Aiden. What's up? Damn it, I don't know. I'll try it again. It's stuck. <laughs> Fuck it, I'll go. No, wait. I'm done waiting. It's time for answers. That can't be good. It's not. Chemical decontamination is deadly. But, but how do we stop it? I don't know. Veronica? Veronica! Remain calm. Veronica? I can't stop it. Do something! I'm thinking. So think faster. Blockers. I still have one. You have to find one for yourself. Any idea where to look? The control room. Maybe they kept some there. Go! Find the control room. Contamination procedure ready to begin. Find a way up. Hurry. Control room. Upstairs.
fucking know. Aiden? Aiden, you all right? Yeah. Yeah, I, I used the blocker. Thank God. I think we're safe now. That's good to hear. Ready to plug in? Are you serious? Yeah, do it. Cross your fingers, Aiden. The moment of truth. Damn, it's broken. Oh, no, you shitting me? Yeah, I am. It's just an old system. Wait, give me the key. Granted. There is a list of patients and personnel. Who do you want to check first? Search for Mia. Is that your sister? Yes. Nothing. Impossible. She was there, with me. I'm searching. Sorry, Aiden. Records show no patients named Mia. God! That's impossible. I will check my name. Aiden. Aiden. There's one record? Among the youngest children. Year... 2020. Aiden Caldwell? Is that your surname? Well, it is now. What does it say? Data classified. Only one note. Warning. Patient shows an above average tolerance to the substance. Most tests performed. Exemplary results. I think so. Is there anything else? No. That's all. Waltz. Checking. One record. Clinical studies. Substance 1354. Study abandoned. All patients discharged from the center. Look through all the names. Uh, patient discharged. All of them? Yes. Damn it. No info on where they ended up. Or about this substance. Uh, 1354 or something? I'm sorry, Aiden. There's more. The substance was also tested on some infected at GRE facilities across the city. To no avail. The project was run and supervised from X-13. It was eventually shut down, as was X-13 itself. Is there anything more about this X-13? In here? I doubt it. But I heard about it. X-13 was a hub of GRE operations. And the substance, you know what it is? There were so many tests and clinical studies, Aiden. Let me search the database for the research data. Something's wrong. What do you mean? It says a procedure's been initiated. Another procedure? I'm looking... Lots of data. Started, then paused... 11 years ago. Resumed a few days ago in X-10. There's also a map. <laughs> Several locations are marked, including the observatory. What the hell does it all mean? I have no idea, but... Intruder alert. Intruder alert. In infected? 
They must be here somewhere. Too many gates. They must have followed us. There's no time. Hurry, take the key, hide yourself somewhere, and lock yourself in. I'll deal with them. Aiden, we don't know how many there are. I'll handle it. I have bad news. These locations on the GRE system, they appear to be targets. Targets for missile strikes. Missile strikes? What are you talking about? The failsafe protocol. We don't have much time. Listen, this marks Riverend and Garrison. That's in the central loop. People live there. You have to warn Frank. Okay. Okay, I will. Hey, Frank? Oh, Frank, your neighborhood is marked on some tactical map. You have to tell people to evacuate. No time to explain. Just clear everyone out of there, Frank. Shit. Okay. On it. Open the fuck up! Just wait here. I'll try to get through to them from above and take them out. You're safe here. You want an autograph? Veronica, I think it's safe now, but we have to get going. Veronica? Veronica? You there? Veronica? Talk to me. Where are you? I headed towards the elevators. I... Veronica? What's happening? Someone's here, Aiden. Oh, no. No, no, no! Veronica! She was here. That's her radio. Find her. You heard the boss. We're moving. Get her. Veronica, talk to me. Hang on, Veronica. I'm coming. Where is the key? Where is the key? Run! Veronica! Veronica! Run outside!
Veronica, get away! Give the fucking key! Give it to me! Just run, I'll stop him. Why do you need this key, fucker? What have you done with Mia? with my sister she's long gone no i'll kill you Died years ago. Aiden, hold on. You'll be okay. Just hold on. It's okay, Aiden. It's okay. Got the key, Luan. <laughs> Fuck, Aiden, you're heavy. <sighs> Almost there. Just hold on. Hold on. Ah, <sighs> oh, you're back. Thank God. You really gotta stop doing that. You had me worried, and I don't get worried. Keep away from me, Luan. <coughs> wow. I mean, it's not like I expected flowers. But for digging you out from under the rubble and carrying you here on my back, a small thank you would be nice. You don't understand, Luan. I... You what? I, um... I killed Veronica. What? I killed her. And not only that, I'm turning... I saw Veronica's body. It was torn as if by a volatile. You couldn't. It was me. <clears throat> Walter's experiments. Back then in the hospital, there was nothing in the GRE database about me. But about the drug Walter was giving us, it had the greatest effect on me. Walter told me that Mia's dead. I have to get away from here. I'm a threat if I stay to... Not to everyone. 
What if he lied to you? And Mia's alive. And even if not, you didn't kill Veronica Aiden. That wasn't you. I repeat, that was not you. If this transformation is because of Waltz, then we're going to make him fix it. Got it? I'll help you. Wow. Waltz created the inhibitors. He must know how to counter their effects. What was that? Come on. Probably another building collapse. He's finishing what he started 11 years ago. It's Waltz. He used the key. That's when this all started. What are you talking about? Dylan didn't want Waltz getting the GRE key. He knew the whole city would be at risk. And Waltz took the key from Veronica and escaped. Apparently he needs it for something else. Do you see now? You have to stop him. Him and Williams. No matter what. One. I can't control when I turn. Any moment now, I can... When you feel something happening, just get to a UV light. I can't stop them alone, Aiden. Okay. Okay, let's get him. Now you're talking like the Aiden I know. Frank's taking Juan and Matt to the stronghold. He wants to meet with the Butcher. What? I had the same reaction. But he says that after the bombing, Williams contacted him, and that he wants to talk. Has Frank lost his mind? That's why I'm going to cover their idiotic asses. You go to the fisheye. Maybe you can still talk Frank out of this stupid idea. If that doesn't work, I won't be far. Aiden, nobody can know about Veronica. Remember, I know it wasn't you who did that, but Jack... The peacekeepers? They won't give a shit. They can't stop us. They won't. Frank! Frank! Frank, do you copy? Runners are back. Oh, Frank. Aiden, you're in one piece. Frank, if you're going to the stronghold, I'm going with you. Kid, stop. Sit down and listen to me. You saved a lot of people. If it weren't for you, I wouldn't been able to warn anyone. But I don't think it's a good idea for you to come. This isn't about Waltz. The stakes are too high. Wait, what, what do you mean? Look, I'll tell you. But this has got to stay between us, got it? Just tell me. There will be more missile attacks, Aiden. William says most of the central loop will be destroyed. You understand? Is that a threat or a lie? We won't find out unless we sit down to talk. And what if it's a trap? Aiden, listen. At the start of the pandemic, Villador was one of 20 cities to be isolated by the GRE. Do you know how many of them survived so far? None, except for ours. They were all blown up when the virus got out of control. Villador was saved because someone stopped the bombings. And I think it was Williams. I don't trust the Butcher or Waltz, Frank. I want to go with you. If things go south, you could use some backup. Okay, I know I can't stop you. 
You'll go with us, but stay cool and do what I say. Is that clear? will be here any minute. Uh, you sure you're okay? Yeah, I felt worse. I had a drink. You sure you're good to go? I'm okay. I'll be okay. They don't know that another attack's coming. No, they don't. Are you gonna tell them? Uh, if we work things out with the colonel, I won't have to. And if we don't? Then tomorrow, this place is done. Either way, tonight they deserve a party. Let's go get one. He's celebrating too. Matt, he here, or will he be fashionably late? Matt's upstairs, waiting. Yeah, come on. Aiden, buddy. Good to see you alive. Likewise, Nicholas. Man, wouldn't be if it hadn't been for you, they say. Hell, everyone here would be dead by now. Later, amigo. Man, everything all right? This is fucked, Frank. What if it's a fucking trap? We need to strike back at the motherfucker before he burns this city to the ground. See, this is why we're screwed. This fuckhead's just gonna make a bad situation worse. Enough! William says there are more missiles. If he knows that, he might know how to stop them. So, seeing as he's graciously agreed to talk, we're gonna dress up real nice and go to his island on our very best behavior. Now move your ass, Matt. Only if I can kick his. Off to the slaughter. Going? Sure are a lot of them down there. Dollars to donuts, man, fucks this up. 
I guarantee it. Got a plan B? I'll improvise. And what if he improvises? Well, don't worry so much. What else is there to do? Frank! Fuck, I knew it! Frank, help him! <sighs> Those fuckers, I'll stay with him. What happened? What happened? Those fucking renegades shot him. Where were you? Aiden. Hold still. Aiden. Catch that truck, or you'll never get to the butcher. Keep him alive. Take it. There's a tracking device on the truck. You can't let him get away. Whatever happens, promise me you won't let anything happen to Luan. Promise. I promise, Frank. Don't lose the signal, Aiden. Get to the roof, Aiden. Fast. Before you lose the signal from the van. The driver's been bribed. He should be expecting you. My Who is it? Someone easy to blackmail and control. You'll see. I'm on my way. Bad. I've got a signal. Good. Follow it, Aiden. Just stick to the rooftops. We can't lose it. Jack, I'm losing it. God, the signal's fading again. Stick to the rooftop, Faden. That van is our only chance to get into the stronghold. Jack, I got it. The truck is in some building. Good job. There's probably a renegade hideout. Find the driver, named Steve, and get to the stronghold. How's Frank? He's gone, Aiden. Sorry. Oh, God 
Damn it. I should have tried to save him. We all him. did the best we could. Now, time to avenge him, Aiden. <laughs> Kill the butcher. <laughs> Somehow. Hey, I didn't Take me into the stronghold. You? Are you crazy? <laughs> Just drive. What the fuck happened back there? One minute it's all chill, and then suddenly it's all on fucking war. I should have never signed up for this. If Williams doesn't kill me, Matt will. I'm so fucked, man. I'm betraying the fucking renegades, man. Am I high? Just get me in and you'll be fine. The butcher's got me by one bowl and Matt's got the other. This is fucking playing tug of war. Anyone feel like they're being watched? Everything is okay. Uh, I'm here, bitches. <laughs> What's up? You probably want to know what took so long. You on the road? Um, you no. are? Not really. I, I kinda, because uh, be right there. It's all good. Yeah. Don't screw up the password again. This time, we'll blow your head off. Sweet. Love you too. Why do we only have idiots working for us? What's the password? Three horns. No, wait. Four. No, three. 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 Yeah, that's it. 
Times for sure. Fuck. Maybe it was four? Four? I'm gonna die over one fucking horn! <laughs> that was close enough. <laughs> now listen, Steve. Don't try to warn anyone I'm here. to hurt you. Understood? Yeah, man. That's me. Lowest of the low.
Waltz. Hey, she's afraid of you. Play, Anna. There's nothing to fear. Aiden, right? You've come to kill me, have you? I came to find Waltz. You see, Waltz and I aren't exactly on speaking terms these days. Where's Frank? He's dead. Dead? How? Your man shot him. Wait, Sam. You saw it happen? You saw my men shoot? Matt did. <laughs> he saw my men? I only sent one guy, Aiden. Only a driver. Aiden, what's happening? We can count bodies later. You and Waltz launched the attacks and ambushed Frank. I had nothing to do with that. I stopped the attacks 11 years ago, and I'm trying to stop them now. Waltz? He's not here. Don't listen to him, Aiden. Lower the bulkheads. You know what he wants, right? If you don't kill me, he and his thugs will if you let them in. You want to find Waltz, Aiden. So do I. You have to trust me. For fuck's sake! He killed Frank! Fool me, Butcher. Where's Waltz? And here I was trying to be reasonable. Bulkheads. Quickly, Aiden. Then we can get inside. Oh, shit. That power went off. You've got to bring it back. Where's that shit? Get out of here. Coward. Here's the pilgrim. On your knees, bastard. Beg for your life. I said, on your knees. This is a nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> Work. Now, time to let Jack and his men in. <laughs> <laughs> 